What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys are all having an awesome holiday season. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. And for you guys that are coming back, I hope you guys have been doing well. For those of you that have checked out my Instagram, thanks for stopping by. For those of you that haven't, I've been posting a lot on there recently about cases that are before, after, in treatment, and a little bit more about my personal life. So go ahead and check that out at Dr. Greg Ortho on Instagram. What we're gonna be talking about today is something that a lot of you guys have been asking about, and that's really important, but I've been putting off for a while. But we're gonna do it today, and that is how to floss with braces. So let's go. previously done a video on how to brush your teeth properly with braces and brushing is incredibly important but it only brushes the cheek side, the tongue side and the top of your teeth. That leaves a lot of your tooth structure that gets uncleaned every time you brush your teeth and that's the in between of all your teeth or the contacts. Now I know it's really difficult to floss with braces on but hopefully what I show you today can help you out at getting in between your teeth and cleaning out all the bacteria that films in between there. When we brush our teeth and floss our teeth, what we're trying to do is break up this film or it's like a sticky bacteria layer that builds up on your teeth. So when we brush and floss our teeth, what we're trying to do is get rid of this icky, sticky bacterial film that develops on your teeth. As that stays in your teeth for longer and longer, more bacteria gets stuck to it. And as time goes on, it can cause cavities, gum disease, bad breath, and that staining that happens on your teeth. So it's really important that you do this when you're in braces and after you're in braces. First, what I wanna do is show you guys how to floss properly when you don't have any braces on because that's a really important trick moving forward so you learn how to do it with braces. So when you're flossing teeth without braces on, what you wanna do is make sure that you go between the contact and then hug one side of the tooth by forming a C around it like this, pulling it out and then going back in, pulling it towards the other side and sweeping it back up. What this will do is clean in between the teeth on both sides. Now, a lot of you might wonder, now that I have the braces on, it must be really hard to get the wire between the contact. So let's look at some of the tools that have been developed. All the tools that I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description of this video so you guys can go ahead and purchase it from there. So the first product that I'm gonna show you guys about today is the threader that helps you get the floss around the braces. The threaders come in packs just like this. And they look something like this. It's, it's blue so it's hard to see on this background. The way you use this is that you run the floss through the threader just like this and then put it in between the brackets. Hold on to one side of the floss, and there you go. You have the floss under the wire, and you can floss your teeth like I showed you in the previous part of this video. Once you get it out of those teeth, you can pull it out and re-thread it and go between another contact and work your way around the upper and lower teeth. Another product you can use if you don't like that one is this stuff called Super Floss, and this is floss that actually has the threader built into it. And it comes in a pack like this. And there's three parts to this floss. You have the part that is actually the threader, which is a little bit hard. You have an, a section of normal floss. And then you have a part that's a little bit softer and cushier, and this is for larger spans or to clean around the braces. So let me show you how this one would work. Since it already has the threader built into it, you can just run it straight between the teeth, like this, and use the floss to go between the teeth, like I showed you earlier. You can use the thicker part to clean areas where there's bigger gaps between your teeth, and use the other part that's regular floss for all other sections of your mouth. Next, what I wanna show you guys are these proxy brushes or soft picks. Out of these two, I recommend the soft picks a little bit more because they're a little bit more gentle to your gums and they come in packs of five, just like this. You can break one off like that, and it's used to go in between the teeth, and you just push it through the contact. Since this uh, model doesn't have any space between the teeth, I'll show you on the one with no braces. But the way this works is it just you push it in between the contacts, 
and just work your way around the mouth. If you have larger gaps between your teeth, or if you're an older patient that has those black triangles, what you can use is something called the Proxa brush. It looks just like this, and it has a very similar design. It has bristles, and these are great to get in between the teeth if you have those black triangles. These are also really good if you want to clean around the brackets. So if you want to insert it this way and brush the braces, these work fantastic. The last product I want to show you guys is actually the one that I recommend the most, and that's this platypus flosser. The, plat oops. the platypus flosser looks just like this, and it is awesome for people in braces. The way it works is that there is a side that's really thin and a side that's a little bit fatter. And the side that's really thin is used to go on the cheek side of your teeth. And it could fit under the wire in between the braces. And you could just put this between the teeth. And like I showed you earlier, floss one side, insert it, and floss the other side. So let me show you on the models that I can actually go between. The way it'll work is that you would use the thin side on the cheek side, insert it, push it towards the back side and sweep up, put it back in, push it towards the front side and lift up. And you can also get around the braces using this part that we like from the Proxa brush. And clean the braces on the front side and back side. These are super awesome, super cheap, and they're great if you have a difficult time using those other products. Now, remember, you're supposed to brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes, but with flossing, it's a lot easier. You only have to do it once a day. So I usually recommend flossing at night before you go to bed to get out any debris that was there and any of this biofilm that has developed on your teeth. A lot of people say, hey, doctor, can I use a water pick or a water flosser to replace actually flossing? And the answer is unfortunately no. Water picks and flossers are fantastic and I will do a video on them soon, but they are not a replacement for floss because yes, they will break up the biofilm a little bit and yes, they will remove the food, but they won't sweep off that yucky filament that's stuck in between your teeth. And those are pretty much my favorite tools that I like to use when I recommend flossing with braces. If you guys have any other tools, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoy this video or have any questions, also leave them below and make sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, if this is your first time on the channel, hit the subscribe button and check me out on Instagram at Dr. Greg Ortho. That's all for today. I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas holiday season and I will see you guys next time on Braces Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, 